People assume that it's all your fault and they throw the calories in versus calories out and just eat less and move more argument, which is so unhelpful and actually doesn't work for a lot of people because it ignores how intricate our system is. You know, the body is not a machine. It carries out so many intricate processes that we don't have to be conscious of. We don't have to know how to digest food. It just does it for us. But it's still not a machine. It's not a closed system. It's not like a um, calorimeter, which is, for those of you who don't know, is a machine that is used to measure the calories in food and how much energy essentially it would take to obviously burn that energy off. Assuming that it's all your fault ignores so many things like the genetics, our dieting history, our trauma. It ignores all of the, you know, the nervous system, the digestive system, the hormonal system. It completely disregards things like our cortisol levels, our insulin, leptin, ghrelin, thyroid hormones, everything that has such an intricate part, an important part to play in the way in which we absorb food and absorb energy, how we metabolize it and burn it and how we store it. We know that chronic dieting slows the metabolism down. We know that when we cut calories, the body will you know, let go of some weight, mostly water weight, and it will let go of some fat, but everyone reaches that plateau point. That's not to say that you can't get past that if you need to for your health, 